This is my, my studio, my shed that uh, two old blokes down at Penrith came up and built it for me in a day. When I come up here, I, it feels this is my spiritual home if there is such a thing. That's what it kind of weirdly feels like. I like the, the coolness, I like the space and the, um, just the emptiness and the, the straight away I just could tell that I was going to work well here. There's so much distraction in the world I think, and especially in the city. Coming up to the mountains, is, there are fewer distractions. You just want to work harder. And I will just drop everything if I can just spend time up here. Everything else can go to pot, and it often does. <laughs> Come on, good girl. You can sit down. And I think, ultimately, what I'm always trying to do is to slow down and to be mindful and to appreciate what there is in the world around me. Just stop and look what's there, and that is the basis of my contemporary practice. I've lived in Australia for 25 years and in the UK I didn't have this clarity of vision about wanting to document my surroundings. Either write about it or draw it or interpret it because it still looks new to me. Every turn I make is always a surprise around the corner and that's what inspires me really. Harry, no, come here. All right, time to get tough. Sit down, sit, drop. Good girl. Stay there. What a burning desire to be in my studio making things. I don't even care if they don't sell. It's just the making of them. It gives me an incredible joy um, and makes me appreciate being alive. I wouldn't be doing anything else. That might be a bit rough. Let me just see what else. This one's pretty good. One of the biggest joys for me is getting that first imprint. So, shall I do that now? This was like a cooking show. <laughs> I just happened to have got some colours here. Already mixed, badly. Once you've got your screen with ink on it, you, you want to do as many things as you can. So, quite often at this point in time, I've got like clean knickers are lined up or t-shirts or whatever, just so I can keep screen printing rather than having to wash it out. Because it all gets very exciting. Okay, here we go. It's a bit thick. Lovely new stuff. <laughs> the moment of truth. That's a bit boring, isn't it? No, but it's not, that's all right. Obviously, this is just a sample, so I've got to visualise that printed on mass. With textiles, you're always having to think on a large scale, you know, because the, the, the fabric print repeats down a, in my, in my case, a 20 metre table. So I'm always thinking of, of how that looks. The jury is out on whether that works or not. I do what I do and I turn it into textile so that other people can relate to it and use it. I like, I like the fact that my work is used and, you, and is usable and it's not precious. Because the other thing about textiles for me, it's, I'm, I'm creating a product that people use in their homes and curtains and upholstery and it's not a cheap product, it's not something that I want people to replace regularly. I do it for the longevity of the, of the work. That's what I'm always looking for, is to, to, is to create a range of designs that are contemporary classics that will last at least 10 years in the collection. So uh, I allow my design ideas to really um, sit for a long time, so percolating those ideas down to the essence of what I'm trying to do might take me, might, an idea might take a couple of years to come to its final state. I really need my voice to be really unique, I think, and so I'm very cautious about referencing other work so I get overwhelmed and I lose my direction so if I can just cut out all that extra stuff and just focus with a narrow gaze my work is better for it I think however I can feel myself shifting I am moving outwards I am I can feel myself I've done it already I'm interested in asking other people I'm, I am going out to see more exhibitions and, and galleries and the idea of going into the library to look at all these these um, archives, all these other people that have been doing this work for years, is exciting for me now because I think I'm, I've got a strength, I've got a clarity about what I'm doing, what I could bring to it, rather than me going, oh my god, where do I start? I'm now looking for something specific.